An anticoagulant is most commonly known as a blood thinner and is used to treat patients with various cardiovascular diseases such as atrial fibrillation or an irregular heart rhythm. Or for those who have experienced a blood clot in an artery, a vein, or the heart. Although referred to as blood thinners, they don't actually thin your blood. They work by helping to break up already existing clots or to prevent clots from forming in the first place. There are many, but the most common are heparin, warfarin, which is also known as Coumadin, Eliquis, Xarelto, and Lovenox. The medication chosen for you by your doctor is based on your condition. Most anticoagulants are taken orally or by mouth. They can be taken once daily or even twice daily. One important issue when it comes to anticoagulation therapy is medication adherence. Missing a dose can increase your risk for developing a blood clot and clotting complications. On the other hand, take too much or misunderstand directions and you increase your risk for bleeding. It is very important to follow the prescription as clearly as possible and to discuss with your doctor how to take the medication. For those taking Coumadin, measurement of the PT and INR is routine. Your PT INR calculates your prothrombin time, which is a measure of how quickly your blood clots. The frequency with which you will need to be tested varies depending on how long you have been taking the medication. For those just starting out, you may require more frequent checks, perhaps once a week. Sometimes more frequent and sometimes less frequent. Once regulated, you may need to only be tested once a month. So in order to determine how your anticoagulant is working, your doctor looks at your INR. Your blood will be drawn by your healthcare team, but they don't need much, just a finger prick. A person not on anticoagulation therapy typically has an INR of 1. For those taking Coumadin, the most common range is between 2 and 3. The higher the INR number, the longer it takes your blood to clot. An INR over 3 increases your risk of bleeding, and an INR below 2 increases your risk for developing a blood clot. It is very important to keep track and make sure you stay within range. Some of the newer blood thinners Xarelto, Eliquis, and Podaxa do not require any routine monitoring, making them much more convenient. One of the major side effects is bleeding. For those taking Coumadin, there is a 1-2% increase in bleeding risk every year you are taking it. Again, it is important to work with your physician to help you monitor your medication and to have your dosage changed as necessary. Any non-Coumadin drugs such as Xarelto, Eliquis, and Prodaxa have little to no bleeding risks. Being on Coumadin does have some implications for your lifestyle. Some of the things that can increase or decrease the effect of Coumadin are acetaminophen or Tylenol, an increase in alcohol consumption, some antibiotics, NSAIDs, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and include Advil or Motrin or even eating foods that are rich in vitamin K. Your doctor can provide you with more information on other things that can interfere with Coumadin. For the newer non-Coumadin drugs, there are fewer drug-drug or drug-food interactions, making them much easier to use. Coumadin interacts with the way we produce vitamin K, which is needed to produce clotting factors like prothrombin. Eating foods such as liver, Asparagus or cranberries can cause your INR number to fluctuate. Your doctor or dietitian can provide you with more information on other foods that are rich in vitamin K. Being on an anticoagulant does not mean you should avoid all physical activity. Cardiovascular activities such as running, biking with a helmet on, or a stationary bike are important to maintain good heart health which prevents blood clots and works together with the medicine to keep you healthy. Your rehabilitation team will work with you to reduce your activity limitations, help you recover physical function, and that can mean the difference between dependence and independence. 
Call your doctor if you notice pink or red urine, red or black stool, if you have bleeding gums, if you have a very bad headache or stomach ache, if you feel weak, faint, or dizzy, if you see an increase in bruises or blood blisters, or have an accident of any kind. So remember, when taking an anticoagulant, you are at risk for bleeding, so make sure you watch for signs of increased bleeding. You will also require routine blood testing to make sure you are within therapeutic range. Make sure you follow your prescribed order exactly to reduce complications. And finally, be mindful of any physical activity that could cause injury or increase your chance of injury and bleeding.